Welcome back to Tavern Goers, and this is the uh, the game is Tavern with more Dark Souls. This is episode 10, I think now, and we're going to be heading down into the depths. Now I've read quite a bit about this, uh, about this place. There's a uh, one boss and a couple of secrets, so I uh, should be able to show them for you. Uh, we'll also unlock a uh, pyromancer to be with us in the Fire Shrine. So as you come down the stairs, be careful of the, the monster behind you, I completely forgot about him. I'm going to head back, and you want to get this soul. There's a lot of uh, stuff to do in the depths, it's kind of annoying. I probably won't be doing it all, just because, uh, well, there's a lot to do, and you know, I only have like 15, 20 minutes to cover it. I don't want to make a super long video, so... You know, basic stuff, take out these guys, you know. I've, s I've still only got my... I haven't really done much since the last episode. All I've literally done is leveled up, spent my souls. So, I recommend spending your souls before you come here, just because, uh, you know, it can be kind of an annoying place. You're just going to make sure that you... Uh, that you do this... Um, apparently you can pull this butcher guy from... or girl, or whatever he is. I think it's a guy. It, look, it looks like a guy. Probably not. <laughs> Most people who look like guys in this game it tends to be girls. Apparently that merchant in the sewer bit, in the long sewer bit. It, it, you know, the shortcut that we unlocked last episode, apparently that's a female, so... Let's just pull that merch. This guy, or girl, or whatever it is. Uh, it's pretty easy. Should be, anyway. Just, just get a few backstabs off on her, and she should be fine. Still got my Drake Sword plus one, um, just because it's pretty good. Whenever I see people play, they always upgrade like, other bits because you can enchant them, which is a good idea. But I kind of like having the Drake Sword for now. But I think when I go into the Light Town, I might invest in um, in a in, what was that? in a um, in another sword and just upgrade it so I can enchant it because it makes a big difference for certain bosses. Uh, we're going to be heading down this shortcut here, but first we're going to unlock the Pyromancer guy. If you don't go near those ones, then they won't attack you. Just to let you know. If you don't, if you don't touch them, they won't, they won't bug you. So um, yeah, go up here, and then there is a butcher there who drops down if you go over here. Pretty easy, just uh, do the same again, just you can just attack him normally, but or her or whatever. Pretty easy. And the usually drops a sack. Which I probably won't be using. And then you go over here, all on these barrels over here. And then talk to him. He just lets him freeze him. Um so he'll be now in the Fireman Shrine and he'll sell you like, if, if you didn't stop off of Pyromancy he'll sell you your fireball spell and stuff, which is very useful. So definitely um, recommend getting him. So now we're going to go through this shortcut, uh, I don't have my ring on so this is taking longer than it should. Yeah. So make sure you get the Divine Ember from this chest here before you go down and then just head in down this shortcut. This leads directly to, if I remember correctly, the giant rat. Now, first things first, I want to, I want to get this, oh, this thing over here. It's, uh, I don't know if I can get over. Um, is it around here? I think it's around here. Is it somewhere? Yeah, there we go. It's a, um, it's a shield. That actually one of the classes starts with, but it might not seem good for now. But if we look at it. If you look at it, what is that noise? Seriously, it increases your poison defense. It's like when you, yeah, when you're um, when you're blocking with it, it increases your poison defense. What is that noise? So I'm just going to um, throw some fireballs at him to kill him, this giant rat. You can take him on, you know, if you want to, but I 
it's just a lot easier to stand here and throw fireballs, or you can range him with your, with your bow and arrow, it's just, it's just so much easier when you can just do that, and he drops like a twin, I oh know, so he dropped a twin, you want to loot this, side you're going to drop straight into a um, maze slash thing slash annoying thing it's just, apparently it's like the worst thing in the world to go to so um, don't bother with that the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take out this slime it's pretty easy just just do a load of swings with the drake sword and it's dead if you you can actually grind these they're on the they, I think they're on the roof um, they uh, drop crafting equipment like titanite shards and stuff, so it's worth doing. Uh, you want to when you get down here, you want to open up this passageway. This passageway leads to a bonfire, which is extremely useful. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but when you come into here, you want to be sure of this guy, because yeah, just because. And then you want to open this door. So you get the sewer chamber key from the rat. Open this door and it's bonfire, so you want to rest it. There's a player summon inside there. Not that I need it, but. So yeah, we'll be killing the uh, gaping dragon in this one. I think it's a player. Yeah, it is. Don't want to summon him. Um, there's a couple of What's this? Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're going to be killing the gaping dragon in this one. Um, should be pretty straightforward. I'll show you that you need to. Uh, how to get a weapon from them and whatnot, you know, just simple things like that. So we're going to be coming down here, back down. Oh, there's actually a phantom that you can kill, and if you're lucky enough, he'll drop a. Um, sorry about this guy. He'll drop a uh, some, uh, his weapon and then a shield or something if you're lucky enough. So may as well try my luck with that. Uh, take out this. This, take out this. Take out this. If you run back and then run back down, I think you should appear. I think if you're human, I think I'm human. He appears around here somewhere. Go to about here and then run back. He should appear. I think he does. I might be wrong. See, it appears so he starts off here, so you can just get a quick backstab off him, easy, and then just uh, just go from there basically. He's pretty easy, you just get a few backstabs and he's dead. It's always worth doing, gives you uh, quite a few souls. He might drop something, he might not, I don't think he has for me. Gives you humanity though, so it's worth doing. Uh, you don't want to fight against those. Those are those are the things I was on about in the in the that maze place. They, if you attack them too much, they curse you. I think, and it's just the most annoying thing in the world. Um, so yeah, there is a rat here. There's also a slime thing. You want to be careful about that. So I'm just gonna attack it. Put stamina bar, and it's dead. I want to make sure that thing isn't following me. And it's this way to the gaping dragon, but I'm not going to go just yet. First things first, I'm just going to talk to this guy, he's a merchant. So he sells gold pine resin. He only has two of them in stock. Oh no, he has three of them in stock, sorry. So I usually, I, I would recommend just buying more because they're so useful, especially when you get better swords. He also sells some decent swords. Um, that's pretty good, I mean, he's got like you know, decent amount of damage. And he's also got a great sword and a shield. The shield's pretty good as well. And he sells his helmet and some other things you can buy there. I'm just going to leave it for now because I like to be kind of light on my feet. As it were. So, yeah. Um, from here, we need to go because in the next boss fight, there is a um, mage up top who will, if you don't kill him beforehand, who will like buff the dragon and. Um, 
just make your life hell, basically, during the boss fight, so it's well worth just coming up here and going down here. I'm on the YouTube, yes you are Craig, that is um, Mr. On Gamer. you might have seen him. Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he does a lot of different content, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes you are Craig, you are on the YouTube. Right, when you come down here you need to be careful of this box here because uh, there's a rat that just pops out. No idea how he gets in the box, but yeah. In the box, then you want to take out this rat. Punch it a second, why not? And there's a load of other rats who just like run away from you, so... And then you want to walk down from here. Come down here, I'm going to loot this uh, soul. Come all the way down here, and then you want to go through it. This is where the boss is. This is the upper levels of where the boss is. And there's a load of rats, and there's also a magician, a uh, magic guy, who, um, who if not killed, will harass you during the boss fight. So, well worth just spending a little bit of time now. You can, you can arrange him from. Um, he's got a pretty long reach with that stupid pole arm thing of his. That's where the boss is down there. It's quite a nice room. There's two rats to pop out here. Keep us in the room. Right, what you want to do is come all the way to the end. There's not there's no rats in there and you want to loot this. It's a large titanite shard for upgrading. So it's worth, definitely worth doing that. And as soon as that's done, let's go do the boss. See, you know, the depth isn't as hard as people make out, you know, you just gotta know where things are and how to do things. There is obviously a lot more to it than what I'm showing you. I'm just showing you the bare, bare minimum because I don't really like this place either. I think it's the, the gloominess to it. I don't know. It's just a lot of people don't like it when I read about it and when I watch videos and stuff. So people want to get it over and done with as quickly as possible and this is probably the quickest route um, to it. You can rest at the bonfire if you want but since I've got nine SS flasks I can't gain any more so I may as well just walk all the way down. But yeah, then you can just uh, use that merchant. We're going to go through Blight Town this way, I think. I'll uh, do a little bit of preparation beforehand and I'll show you guys that. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on like preparation for Blight Town. I'll do some research on what I need to be wearing and stuff. I want to go for like maximum poison reduction and toxin reduction. Have plenty of like poison heals and stuff. Um, so this is where the boss room is. Massive, massive room. Um, I actually found out that, you know, when you summon people, boss fights, you know, like phantoms to help you, no, that's nothing new. Um, it actually increases the boss's HP. Did not know that. Um, so, I won't be using a phantom for this. Uh, it was used there. Uh, if you come down here, you get a heavy crossbow and some bolts. So, it's uh, kind of useful. But yeah, you, you can touch this sign here and it will it will summon the phantom, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to try it myself. Um, so for this boss fight you can basically stay two handed because you won't be able to block any of attacks, so you may as well stay two handed. Um it'll spawn as soon as he gets through, so I'm gonna show you the video. I'll be quiet. You want to be dodging most of his attacks. Um, you won't be able to do anything to him. Um, so just stay two-handed mode. You get a few hits off, then you want to move straight away, otherwise he will um, charge at you like that. And you want to start attacking his tail. Because he has, I think he has a nasty swing as well. So if you attack his tail, then you get a great axe, um, which is a nice weapon. So it's always worth getting that. Now we slam down, run up to him, and then start attacking his face. Once he does that, get out of the way. <laughs> so as soon as you like, you can see his talons get out of the um, of the floor. You can start. Um, you start moving basically. 
but yeah, like I said, stay two-handed because you can't block any of this guy's attacks. There's no point in even trying. Um, so you just want to stay two-handed so you can pull off more damage, and then you just want to move when he starts doing his doing his um, slam down attack and charging attack and stuff. And you just want to just get as many hits off as possible. And when he gets gets his claws out like that, just make sure you move. You know, slam into the wall. And then you can get a few free hits off. Oh, don't don't run into him. <laughs> uh, don't run into him when he's charging. Still, even if he, even if you're not in his way, because he, he will just trample you. And then he's he's gonna turn around now. He's gonna fly. What's that? There's a few attacks. Pretty easy to dodge, like all of them. <laughs> you shouldn't really be getting hit by anything unless you just make a few easy mistakes. Let's just take out his. Uh, see, that's what happens if you do not move. It's a good job you don't get hit twice, otherwise I would have died then. And then dead. Easy. So if you're having problems on that, that's the way to do it. Uh, get my town key from him, and then obviously a few souls. Um, between your mounties and homeward bone. 25,000 souls as well, it's not bad. Go over here and pick up these. Hard lever. Alright, I think that's it for this episode. That's m most of the adepts done. You know, you've got a few few secrets down below which you can get but it's not worth the, the hassle I don't think because you've got curses and stuff down there and it's just a pain in the ass and I don't think it's worth the amount of souls you have to spend on curses so um, if you like to if you could like and favorite this video that'd be great next up is going to be Blight Town so I'm going to go through that so uh, yeah see you next time guys Bye.